Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Avery, and today we're going to be covering a tutorial using Python and this API right here called Vonage, or Nexmo. The name has changed. I think it was bought out by Vonage. It's an API where you can send text messages, um, SMS, along with a lot of other variety. Today, in this example, we're just going to be sending a text message. Um, we're going to be setting it up our account with Vonage and we're going to use a Py the Python API to send the text message and we're going to hook it up to a SQL database um, SQLite where it will use a cron job to check every single day and it will send a text message when one of the contacts in the database it's his birthday it will send them a happy birthday text message this could be used for plenty of things businesses can use things like this to automate, automate text messages to send out well wishing happy birthday to send out coupon codes for anything like that any sort of update so and today in this video like I said we're just going to be covering over all this basic stuff so I'll have the link for everything in the description we're just going to go to vonage.com and they'll have a try for free the text messages they actually cost money to use um, the sending an SMS text message it will be this right here point zero zero six eight cents um, this is a dollar sign. I believe it might be euro. Whenever I put my money into the account, it shows euro, so I'm not actually positive. But uh, yeah, I guess maybe that's a US dollar. But uh, it's basically that. You want to sign up for the account, and when you sign up, it's going to have you confirm your email, then it's going to have you confirm your phone number. And you'll go into the Vonage API dashboard. Once you're signed in, you'll have to get started. We'll try our APIs. For today, we're just using Send and SMS. And then I'll have your account information. You can do bailing a payment, or you can just click right here, and you can go ahead and add some money to that if you would like. And it's also going to have a number that you're going to be texting from. And in that number, you can go to the your applications, and you can actually go ahead and sign up, and you can create an application for today's project. I'm not going to show everything on here because I want to display all my information, but it's very basic. You can go in there and do that. You can go in there and add some money to it, so you can send text. It's really cheap, and if, like I said, this is for a business, so. In the long run it's worth it um, so under the send SMS we'll have a curl command and also have a bunch of different programming languages examples um, we're gonna actually go ahead and set up everything ourselves. and also if you haven't watched this video right here that I've made Python and SQLite tutorial for beginners it breaks down all the things we're using today uh, for SQLite database so if you guys have any questions about that go ahead and check out this video and we're gonna want to actually go ahead and install the Nexmo the Vonage API. It's just going to be pip install Nexmo. If you're using a newer version of Python, it can be pip3 install Nexmo. And you should go ahead and just be able to do that. And now let's just jump right ahead into the code. So here in the code, we're going to want to include a few uh, packages. Um, I'll just say that it's this right here, the Python 3.8. And then the package is going to be Nexmo. It's going to be a date time. The date time is because we're going to be checking the day and we're going to compare it in the database to see the birthday. And then there's going to be SQLite 3 and we're just going to name that DB. So here I'll quickly show the database that we'll be using. It's, I'm using the SQLite browser just to show it to everyone. But it's going to have this ID. This ID right here is just an integer. It's a auto increment. And it's going to have the first and the last name and then the birthday. And then this one right here is going to be the phone number. I'll go ahead and add that in off screen so you won't be able to actually see mine. But uh, it doesn't matter a, the capitalization or nothing in the code. We can actually go ahead and fix that. So today is the um, November 24th. So this one is going to be the birthday. This one's going to be my birthday, but it's just going to be Passover because it's not the day. So it's going to go through. It's going to find the date. And if the date matches the current date, it's going to take out the year. But if it matches the current date, then I'll take the first name and the phone number and it'll send a text message. So it's going to be that simple. Let me just quickly add my number off screen. Right changes. And alrighty. So back here in the code, we're going to want to create a function for sending a message. And we'll just call this define. It'll be text B day. And we're going to pass in the phone number and we'll pass in the name. And in this case, it'll just be the first name. Now I have a message and we'll just say happy B day. And then it'll be the name. And some exclamation marks. And then SO. And make the name 
capitalize correctly, you can just do capitalize as such. And that's going to fix the name. As you saw there in the database a second ago, it was Jane, and it had a lowercase j, and the rest were capitalized. This is going to fix it, and it'll be really simple formatting the name correctly. Now, you actually want to check to make sure the phone number has a 1 in front of it. As you know, 1 is a the number for the US, I believe. I don't get how it all works. But uh, you just have one in the front of it, so then it'll say numbers to the US. So this example, we're just going to say every number is going to be like that. So we'll just do if num 0 not equal to 1. Then we'll just do num equals 1 plus num. So it is the number is an integer, but we're going to take it out as a string. So it's just going to read it as if it was a string. Um, the next part of the code, we're going to actually create a client to the Nexmo database, the Vonage database. And let's call it client. And I'll do Nexmo.client. And in here, there's going to be a key and a secret. So here on the website, it's actually going to have this key and secret for you to copy. Um, for my example, I have it saved onto a file, so I won't display anything here. And let me just, just grab this right there. So it's my key, and there's my secret. Uh, make sure if you're actually typing in yourself, then you'll use the uh, quotes around it. Now we're going to actually use what is in the client. So to use what's in the client, we'll just do client.send. Uh, send message as such and you're gonna see this code is actually uh, very similar to the code that's going to be under the send uh, in SMS under the getting started and we're just going to do from and this number is going to be the number that you got when you set up your application and let's do it right there and then I'll do two uh, I don't know if these need quotes but I'll put quotes around them Two, and then I'll pass in the number and then you do text and that'll be the message so as such you'll be able to have the number that you're sending it from uh, the number you're texting to and your message so now we seem to set up a way to read through the database check the birthdays that run this function and pass in the name and number so down here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that. So I'm going to paste this right into here. Like I said, if you haven't watched the SQLite video, um, basically just connecting to the database. It's going to be this file right here. Uh, make sure you have the full extension to the file, not just it, it, where it is, because later we're going to use a cron job to make it so it runs every single day, and we just want to make sure it actually knows what the file is. Um, we're going to pull all the information from contacts. Uh, if you remember, it was the ID, first name, last name, the birthday, and then the phone number. So that's what this is going to be. Now we want to make sure to remember to close this connection. And we'll just have that right there. And we're going to loop through um, all the things that are, came in from this execute, the select command. So let's do cur.fetch all. And then we're looping through right here. So we want to actually check for the birthday, and we actually have to remove the year from the birthday. So to do that, we'll just do we'll make a new string. We'll call it. Uh, make sure it's set as a string. Let me pull the date. So the three is actually going to be the date. It was a. Uh, like I said it was ID is zero, first name is one, last name is two, and the third is a date. And now we want to actually split it up by. Uh, slashes right here if you have it organized with dashes it doesn't matter just split it that way and now we're gonna so split it into array so it'll be the month the the day then the year or the day of the month depending on how you do it and so now we just want to grab the first two numbers and be able to compare it so we'll just do b day equals I'm just passing everything as a string just to make sure that there's no errors or anything so that right there is going to be the month And then we'll have the day. 
So that's the B day. And now we want to actually set up the current day. I'll do this right here. This is going to be using that date time that we imported. And just run this, paste this right in there. So it's the date equals date time. Then today equals, uh, we'll pass in these two numbers. It'll be the month, then the day. And I'll just print it out for debugging. Whenever you actually finish everything, you probably want to remove all the prints that I'm going to add. So now here's the B day. And now we just want to check if B day equals today. So if the B day is today, that means we're just going to, want to send a text message to them. Um, and like I said, for debugging, we'll have a print out, a statement. So I'll just say it's the first name and the last name is B day. And I want to pass in the phone number, which is the fourth one, and then the first one is the first name. And it's as simple as that. We can print out the B day as well to be able to compare that. And it's really simple. Uh, this should be the whole entire application. We can actually go ahead and run it to make sure, test anything, any sort of errors. So B day not by. In there, eleven twenty four. So that's the current date. And this is a loop through, printed out the day. So that was my birthday. And then that didn't match. And then it printed out the next day. And then it said it's Jane Doe's birthday. And one second, let me grab my phone. And I'll show the screenshot right here. As you can see, it sent the text message. Um, let's go ahead and make it so the text message can have an emoji to do that. We're just going to want to do, add. Uh, the Unicode type. So let's add that right there. And now here on the Vonage website, you can actually copy this emoji right there. And just add this uh, to the end. It shows in V-code, it shows in the terminal. It, most of the things that you use will have this Unicode for the emoji, so it'll be able to display it correctly. Now if I were to resend this text message, it should be able to print everything. And I'll even do print message and let's run that again Oop. set a comma right there and there happy birthday Jane and there it is it's into my screen the emoji worked and I'll show that as well and it's basically as simple as that uh, this can be used for a lot more things it could be uh, used for a lot. So if you guys are interested in seeing more on how you can use Vonage, how you can use the SQL Lite database for working on a bigger project, if I can get 200 likes by the end of this year, just on this video, then I'll make a short series out of this where you can make an actual web client for people to sign up and give in their birthday and their information, their contact and whatnot. And we'll also make a web client for the owner of the company to be able to send out personalized texts and even sending out coupon codes and having everything organized all in a database. And one thing, just before we leave, like I said, we really use this all on a cron job. Uh, there's a website right here, uh, crontab.guru. It's easier to set up to figure out what the cron jobs are, but this one right here, just to put it simple, it runs at 8 a.m. Uh, every single day. So, pull it up in this terminal, hopefully you guys can see this, but it's gonna be cron tab and dash E for edit. And now we're just gonna go to the rear bottom and you can just copy this in right there, or however you want to set it up. You can. I'll have this website in the description, so you can have a run the way you want it. I'll just do Python 3.8, and then we'll pass in this right here. Vda.py, and you want to have the full name of it as well in the code. You need the full name of the database, so there's no errors at all. And now, when you save this and close it, it's basically just going to run every single 8 a.m. It's going to loop through check whose birthday it is and send them a happy birthday. And that's basically it for today. Like I said, go ahead and like the video if you guys are interested in more learning uh, using this API and setting up a whole entire application for a company to be able to automate text messages and send out coupons and whatnot and have a web client for everything. Go ahead and like the video and I'll post another video for it out soon. And I hope you guys are having a great day for everyone that's in America. Happy Thanksgiving and see you guys again next time. Bye.